Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jane and today I'm going to plan my fall garden. Fall is an amazing time to plant. I just think it's the time of the year that you can take things more easy, first of all. And second of all, things grow at a more slower pace so you're not constantly running behind the fact trying to harvest everything and it's also a look into the future what you can harvest for winter and even things that you can harvest next spring and the best part about planting for the fall is that you have less pests in your garden those white butterflies that lay eggs on your plants and devour your plants they have gone away the slugs have gone to sleep for the most part. Yeah, you just find less pests in the garden, you know, less lice, less mites. So yeah, in general, fall is one of my favorite times to plant. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna plan my fall garden. First of all, I don't know if you remember, but I got this book from my youngest daughter a few Christmases ago, and this is a heaven scent. I suggest you find some kind of book that will guide you like this book does this book tells me every single thing i need to know about planting every single vegetable what time i'm supposed to plant them what time they're supposed to harvest the pest control everything so in this book i have a calendar if you can see and it basically tells me what i should be planting right now for the fall and if you didn't know the netherlands in comparison to the plant zoning system, the Netherlands is in a broad range. It's from zone 7B to zone 10A. So that's a broad range of things that we can plant at any given time of the year. And guys, if you if you see one of my shorts where I was keeping my seeds, I have upgraded. I found a little box that I can keep my seeds in. So we're gonna go over what I'm gonna be planting this season. I chose, I chose some different things that I wanna try, but I also stick with the things that I know work. For fall, the first thing I'm gonna be planting again is my garden beans. I have a lot of garden beans right now, but I want another batch to prepare. So basically what you call that planting in succession. So I'm gonna plant some garden beans at actual end of summer so I can start to harvest them next spring. Garden beans are so easy to grow. I had no problem growing them this year. I had no problem with pests. They didn't take up a lot of space because I planted them vertically and they were delicious. We could go outside and pick beans every single day and have some beans to eat whether it's next to a, next to a slab of meat or just as, as in a salad beans are so versatile in your in your diet um secondly i'm gonna plant another batch of brassicas my brassicas did really good this summer and the ones that did the best was the cauliflower this scheme says that i can plant my cauliflower at the very beginning of autumn and this is the great thing about cauliflower i can harvest them all through the winter right into the spring when I have to plant another batch. So I'm really excited of my autumn and winter cauliflowers to bring in from the garden into the kitchen. Next, I'm gonna plant another batch of lettuce. Lettuce is such an amazing garden crop because you can plant it all year round and you can harvest it all year round at least in our zone. You can harvest it from spring through winter and back up to spring. And who doesn't want a nice salad every single day? So I'm, I'm, def I'm definitely gonna be planting another batch of lettuce. I'm not sure what sort yet. I'm gonna look for a hardy sort that is really meant for harsh winters because I really think we're gonna get a harsh winter this year. And then I'm gonna plant some spinach. Why? Because I can plant spinach from spring all the way down until the end of autumn. I can also harvest spinach all the way down until the end of autumn, just before the first frost. So I'm looking forward to harvesting a few baskets of spinach that I can freeze 
and have my spinach to use through the winter. And you know, guys, spinach is super healthy. I really looked this up. <laughs> I didn't know what it was called in English, but I did some deep research and I think my research said that this is called endive. I'm also gonna leave the name on the hair and if, it, if I'm wrong, please mention it in the comments. This is something that we don't use a lot, but I wanna try it. My husband thinks it's bitter, but we must be able to find some recipes that make it taste good. <laughs> so um, they say that I can plant this all the way down until the end of autumn. And, I, and we can also harvest it all the way through winter. So what better thing to plant in your garden than something that you can harvest all the way through winter? So I'm excited about this. Endive. Um, and yeah, we got to find a good recipe for it because my husband thinks it's bitter. And then next, I'm going to plant another batch of beets. I think beets are really doing good in my garden. They've done really good. They grow. I think they grow really fast and we can use them in two different ways. Of course, we can use the leaves for salads and we can harvest them. They grow really quick, really healthy. This is a real touch and go one because I'm not sure if it's going to work, but they say if I plant it the end of summer, I can harvest it all the way until the end of autumn, which is good because I can also plant a lot and harvest a lot and freeze a lot. So we can have that through the winter and then start again next spring. So I'm going to plant two different varieties of beets. So my next one on my list is my carrots. I'm going to try to get another batch of carrots in the ground. I absolutely loved the carrots that came from these seeds. And if I plant them right now, <laughs> because I have, I have to harvest some carrots now, so I can get them out of the ground and get these back in the ground, then I can harvest them all the way to the beginning of winter. Isn't that great? I can have carrots in the winter because I can harvest a lot, use them, freeze them, and they can last me until next spring. So carrots is definitely next on my list and I loved these carrots. Um, what's next? I'm not sure about this, but I want to try onions this autumn. I won't be able to harvest these onions now until next year, but I really want to try it. I've seen a lot of people plant them, a lot of people harvest them. I've learned from watching you guys and other gardeners how to dry them and um, I'm, gonna, I'm excited to try that. So that's going to be a new thing I'm going to try this autumn. That's onions. Um, and next, I'm going to try, I call these chives, but I'm going to put the English name, the real name. I'm going to do some research. I, I'm not sure if they're chives, but there's some kind of, they're in, in Dutch, they say they're, how do you say, stem onions, which I think is chives. So I'm going to try these because they say if I plant it the end of summer, I can harvest them a little bit into the fall, definitely in the spring. So I'm gonna try these. I love these. I love cooking with them. They make the food taste so, give the food such a bang, you know? I love onions. So definitely gonna try these. And if you've tried them before and you have tips, please leave it in the comments. I'm really curious about this i've never i've never tried this before i definitely want to do more cabbage you have autumn cabbage and you have winter cabbage and we have had such a great crop of cabbage this year and i definitely want to try growing more cabbage because cabbage is something that i can plant up until the end of summer and i will be able to harvest it all through the winter there's a really famous Dutch recipe that my husband loves that you boil the cabbage and you stamp it with mashed potato and you add sausage. So we're going to we're going to have that a few times this winter. <laughs> so yeah, cabbage was also on my list. Last but not least, super excited guys. I'm going to try microgreens. Never tried them before. I I bought three different kinds and 
I have to do some more research on it. So this, these are things I'm gonna do inside in the windowsill. I know about them. I've seen people grow, th grow them, but I have no idea how to do, th do this. So this is gonna be a real big project for me this autumn. These are things that my books say you can grow all year round and harvest all year round. And isn't that what we want with our veggies? So yeah, guys, this is gonna be my awesome biggie, my big project. I know it's gonna cost me some money because I probably have to go get the thing, the containers to grow them in and, and the fertilizer. I don't know what I need for it. So it's a big research project. Of course, I'm gonna vlog it and show you guys the progress. I'm also super excited. Um, they're supposed to be extremely healthy full packed full of vitamins and things that we need so yeah microgreens so that's a good bit of things i want to get to this autumn things that i can harvest through the winter things that will meet us in the spring but yes yeah, sitting here chatting with you guys is not going to get those things in the ground so i'm going to wrap this up and get planting and I suggest you guys get planning your autumn garden and start planting. So thanks for joining me. If you have any comments, any questions, please leave them in the, in the comment section below. And you know I love to connect with you guys and I'm excited to hear what you guys are growing. To be continued with my microgreens and I'll see you again in my next vlog. Cheers.